everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be sharing with you some beautiful places that you have to visit in marmaris i made this girl and i've been living in marmaris for about five years now and i know a lot of beautiful places here so if you are coming to marmaris this summer um, you definitely have to visit these places i know still a lot of countries can travel but I know some do. Um, for example, there are a lot of Russian and Ukrainian people I believe now here. Not a lot of English and Dutch people yet, but I'm really hoping that they are able to visit Turkey this year because um, last year was a very terrible season in tourism and I just really hope that this summer it will be better. So if you plan a trip to Marmaris or you're just curious, uh, this video is for you. And of course, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I make a lot of beauty related videos, lifestyle, but also vlogs here in Turkey. So if you like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to give the huge thumbs up because you really help my channel with it. And now let's get started. Okay, so I wrote some things down in my phone. So the first place that I will definitely visit is the boulevard and the marina. You have a very long boulevard all over Marmaris, but I mean the place in the center where cars are not able to drive. So it is in the center. There are loads of restaurants. So if you're looking for a restaurant to eat in the evening, uh, I would really look there. And you have such great restaurants over there. A lot of seafood as well. So if you love seafood, um, you can definitely find that here. There are also loads of boats, lots of people walking. And yeah, it's just really nice. And then if you walk from the boulevard, to the marina area you have a lots of different little shops and also some nice coffee places you have starbucks over there but you also have kave dunyase which is like a turkish coffee uh, little shop and also robert's coffee so you have lots of nice places to sit and in the marina you have a little bit more high-end shops um, so if you are looking for that you can find that over there and you can take some beautiful photos i will insert some now but um, yeah, it's my favorite photo spot. You have like the palm trees, the sea and some boats. So yeah, really beautiful. Then the next place that is very close to that is the castle. Fortunately, I don't have anything on camera, but I have some photos, I believe. So I will insert them now. But the castle is very old and you have all little streets around it with beautiful flowers. And I had also my wedding photo shoot over there. Um, so it's really like cozy with very cute little shops, beautiful flowers on the walls. It actually got a little bit of a grease vibe, but it's in Turkey. So yeah, it's also very beautiful to walk around the castle in the little streets uh, behind the boulevard. So another thing that I would really recommend is renting a car. If you go a little bit outside of Marmaris, you have the most beautiful beaches and it's a lot more quiet over there. You have lots of different little villages uh, that are definitely worth visiting. And um, yeah, like I said, the beach in Marmaris itself, it's quite crowded. Of course you can go there, but to be really honest with you, I do like the beaches outside of Marmaris a lot better. The water is just more clear over there. It's more quiet. And yeah, if you like that, um, rent a car. And if you rent a car, you can definitely go to the Turgut uh, waterfall. I know in Marmaris, they also plan like a Jeep safari and they will bring you to the Turgut waterfall and also to Kuskumu, which is a um, beach where you can walk like in the water itself. Like there's a little road and the jeep safari will bring you over there um, if you like that you can do that obviously um, but you can plan your own time so yeah if you rent a car you can definitely go over there as well and like i said the tour good a waterfall is so beautiful we went there like a month ago a few weeks ago and um, that time it was super quiet because uh, the tourism hadn't started yet but uh, still, it is very nice there. And if you come in the summer, you can better maybe go a bit early before the Jeep safaris uh, come over there because otherwise it's a bit crowded. So maybe early in the morning is the best to go. And over there, you can walk all the way up to the little waterfall. It's not super big, 
but the water is really clear and it's just nice to um, see something different I think and then also another very beautiful place is Akiaka I never filmed in Akiaka but I will insert again some photos and it's such a beautiful place the water over there is like really cold and it's not actually the sea it will go to the sea but it is sweet water over there I believe you can also plan a little trip with a boat um, I've never done it but I would really love to it looks like a lot of fun and again we had our wedding shoot over there it's just very beautiful you have lots of different restaurants over there and I believe also some hotels so if you would like to stay there like one night uh, you can plan that but definitely worth visiting and again I think in the summer it's quite busy so maybe you can go early in the morning or maybe a little bit later in the evening so you can have dinner there but yeah, that's my biggest tip to rent a car because um, outside of Marmaris you just have the most beautiful views, beaches and nature that are definitely worth visiting. If you like to shop, you can definitely visit like the center of Marmaris, the big bazaar. You have many, many shops over there. Um, you have like the typical touristic uh, shops as well, like the fake designer bits. But you also have a lot of like nice small shops with like unique items, for example, jewelry or like beautiful towels, mom towels, the traditional Turkish towels. So you can definitely shop a lot and as well as spices. And the Turkish kitchen is really well known for their spices. But I would recommend going to shops where you can see the prices. Um, some of the shops they take advantage of tourists so they will ask uh, more money if they see that you are from another country so um, I would always go to shops where you can see the prices so then you know that they are like honest people and for me that's really important so yeah if you are shopping make sure you go to the right shops so these are just a few things that I think you should do in Marmaris and um, if you like to see more about the villages around uh, Marmaris or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!